With the encouragement of national policies, more and more young people are choosing to return to the countryside and start farming. This is undoubtedly a positive beginning, but it also reveals some issues. Some young people complain about low grain prices, high living costs and the hardships of farming life. These problems stem from the remnants of traditional old agriculture. If they continue to use the old methods of fertilizers, pesticides and mass production, life in the countryside will naturally be less appealing than working in the city. If young people wear strange urban clothes, repeat the traditional farming methods of the older generation and complain about the backward thinking of rural people, they will not only fail to improve agriculture, but also waste their youth and disappoint the country's expectations. However, another group of young people is using the knowledge they acquired in the city to create new opportunities based on local conditions. Some have gone into the mountains to plant special fruits and vegetables, creating a paradise. Some have started greenhouse farming. Some are engaged in organic agriculture, growing pollution-free organic food. Some are involved in animal husbandry, and others are using local mountainous resources to set up children's educational picking and planting projects, combining farming with education. These young people are using their urban knowledge to start new agricultural ventures in the countryside, which is the original intention of the national policy encouraging young people to return to farming. So, with the development of artificial intelligence, more and more jobs in cities will be replaced by robots and rural areas will become the last breeding ground for green organic humans. We hope that our education system can be reformed as soon as possible to teach students survival and innovation skills, rather than just how to pass exams. This way, when young people return to the countryside, they can truly showcase their talents and create a new world. Young people returning to the countryside to engage in new agriculture is a hopeful beginning. By using modern knowledge and technology, combined with local conditions, young people can create new opportunities in rural areas. This not only helps solve the problems of traditional agriculture, but also injects new vitality into the country's agricultural development. We hope that more young people can seize this opportunity, return to the countryside, and start their own era of new agriculture.